Listening and Speaking Practice Hello everyone, today we are going to practice our listening and speaking skills to improve our pronunciation. Once upon a time in the bustling city of New York, there lived a young man named Jake. He had just graduated from college and was eager to start his career in finance. Jake had always been fascinated by Wall Street and dreamed of working in one of the big investment firms. One sunny morning, Jake put on his crisp navy suit and polished his black leather shoes. He grabbed his briefcase and set off for his first job interview at a prestigious investment bank. As he walked down the busy streets of Manhattan, he couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and nerves. As he arrived at the sleek glass building, he was greeted by the receptionist, who asked him to take a seat in the waiting area. Jake glanced around, taking in the modern artwork and plush furniture. He decided to use this time to review the financial jargon he had been studying as part of his preparation for the interview. He pulled out his phone and looked up the latest stock market trends. He saw that the Dow Jones Industrial Average had dipped slightly, but the S&P 500 was on the rise. He also checked the exchange rates for various currencies, as he knew that his potential job might require dealing with international clients. He made sure to familiarize himself with key terms like dividends, assets, and portfolio management, which were frequently used in the finance industry. After a few minutes, Jake was ushered into the interview room. He was greeted by a panel of stern-looking executives who asked him tough questions about financial concepts, economic trends, and investment strategies. Jake confidently answered their questions, using the financial jargon he had prepared, and demonstrated his keen understanding of the subject matter. The interview lasted for an hour, and Jake left the building with a sense of relief and accomplishment. He knew that he had done his best to showcase his knowledge and skills. He decided to celebrate by taking a stroll in Central Park, where he could enjoy the beautiful spring weather and practice his pronunciation. As he walked through the park, Jake encountered a street performer playing a saxophone. He stopped to listen and was amazed by the musician's skillful playing. The saxophonist's smooth melodies and improvisations mesmerized Jake, and he couldn't resist tapping his foot to the rhythm. Jake struck up a conversation with the saxophonist, who introduced himself as Max. They chatted about their shared love for music and Jake's passion for finance. Max asked Jake to explain some financial terms to him, as he was curious about the world of investments. Jake gladly obliged, using simple language and clear pronunciation to explain complex concepts like stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. As they continued their conversation, Max offered to give Jake a quick saxophone lesson. Jake eagerly accepted, and Max showed him how to hold the instrument, form the embouchure, and produce different notes. Jake struggled at first, but with Max's patient guidance, he gradually improved his technique. After an hour of practicing, Jake managed to play a simple tune on the saxophone. He was thrilled with his progress and thanked Max for his generosity. Max, in turn, thanked Jake for helping him better understand the world of finance. As they bid each other farewell, Jake realized that he had not only aced his job interview but had also made a new friend. He left Central Park with a renewed sense of confidence and purpose, knowing that he was well on his way to achieving his dreams of a successful career in finance. From that day on, Jake continued to polish his financial knowledge and practice his pronunciation of financial jargon. He landed a job at the investment bank and became known among his colleagues for his clear communication skills. He also kept in touch with Max, and they often met in Central Park to jam together, Jake on his saxophone, and Max on his guitar. Their friendship grew stronger with time, and they became each other's support system in their respective fields. With his newfound confidence and expertise, Jake quickly made a name for himself in the finance industry. He earned promotions, received accolades from his clients, and even got the opportunity to travel abroad for business meetings. He was proud of his achievements and grateful for the chance to use his knowledge and skills in a meaningful way. One day, Jake received an invitation to speak at a financial seminar for young professionals. He was honored and nervous at the same time, as he would be addressing a large audience of fellow finance enthusiasts. 
He knew that his pronunciation and presentation skills would be crucial in delivering a compelling talk. To prepare, Jake spent hours researching the latest financial trends, refining his speech, and practicing his pronunciation in front of the mirror. He paid extra attention to his intonation, stress, and rhythm, ensuring that his speech sounded natural and engaging to his audience. On the day of the seminar, Jake took a deep breath and stepped onto the stage. He looked out at the sea of eager faces and began his presentation. He spoke with confidence, using the financial jargon he had mastered over time, and delivered his speech flawlessly. His clear pronunciation and articulate speech captivated the audience, and they hung on to his every word. After the seminar, several young professionals approached Jake to ask questions and seek advice. He answered them patiently, using simple language and clear pronunciation to ensure they understood his responses. Many expressed their appreciation for his informative and engaging presentation, and Jake felt a sense of accomplishment. As Jake left the stage, he spotted Max in the audience, clapping enthusiastically. Max had come to show his support and was beaming with pride. After the seminar, they went out for a celebratory dinner, reminiscing about their journey from Central Park to the stage of a financial seminar. Months passed, and Jake continued to excel in his career. He was offered a promotion to lead a team of young finance professionals, and he gladly accepted. He mentored them, patiently explaining complex financial concepts in simple language and helping them improve their pronunciation. One day, as Jake was reviewing his team's progress, he received an email from Max. It was an invitation to attend his first music gig at a local jazz club. Jake was thrilled and immediately marked the date in his calendar. On the day of the gig, Jake arrived at the club with his colleagues. He watched with pride as Max took the stage, playing his guitar with passion and skill. The audience was captivated by his performance, and they cheered for him loudly. After the gig, Jake went backstage to congratulate Max. They hugged and exchanged heartfelt words of appreciation. Jake realized that just as Max had helped him improve his pronunciation, he had also inspired Max to pursue his musical dreams with confidence. As time went on, Jake's career continued to soar, and Max's music gained popularity. They remained the best of friends, supporting each other's endeavors and celebrating their achievements together. In the end, Jake realized that success wasn't just about mastering financial jargon or polishing his pronunciation. It was also about using his knowledge and skills to connect with others, inspire them, and make a positive impact in their lives. And with Max by his side, he knew that he had found a true friend and ally in his journey towards success. And so, Jake's story became an inspiration to many young professionals in the finance industry, as they learned from his example that communication skills, including pronunciation, were essential for career success. Jake continued to thrive in his finance career and enjoy his passion for music, all while cherishing the invaluable friendship he had found in Max. And they lived happily ever after, a true embodiment of the American dream. Thank you for watching the video. I ask that you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.